Frank Harari was a prolific American mathematician, who specialized in graph theory. He was widely recognized as one of the fathers of modern graph theory. Harari was a master of clear exposition and, together with his many doctoral students, he standardized the terminology of graphs. He broadened the reach of this field to include physics, psychology, sociology, and even anthropology. Gifted with a keen sense of humor, Harari challenged and entertained audiences at all levels of mathematical sophistication. A particular trick he employed was to turn theorems into games, for instance. Students would try to add red edges to a graph on six vertices in order to create a red triangle, while another group of students tried to add edges to create a blue triangle. Because of the simplest case of Ramsey theory, one team or the other would have to win. Biography Frank Harari was born in New York City, the oldest child to a family of Jewish immigrants from Syria and Morocco. He earned his bachelor's and master's degrees from Brooklyn College in 1941 and 1945 respectively and his Ph.D. from University of California at Berkeley in 1948. During 1948 to 1986 he was with the University of Michigan. From 1987 he was professor in the computer science department at New Mexico State University in Las Cruces. He was one of the founders of the Journal of Combinatorial Theory and the Journal of Graph Theory. He died at Memorial Medical Center in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Frank Harry's interests would shift much during his very long and diverse academic career. His interests during the beginnings of his undergrad were mainly in the field of physics. However, when he began research for his doctorate, his attention was turned to abstract algebra, specifically the study of Boolean-like rings. Shortly after being awarded his doctorate for his research on Boolean-like rings, Harari was appointed as an instructor for the Department of Mathematics at the University of Michigan in 1948. Harry's first publication would follow within his first year. In 1949 Harry published on the algebraic structure of knots. Shortly after this publication in 1953 Harry published his first book on the number of Hussimi trees. It was following this text that Harari began to build up a worldwide reputation for his work in graph theory. In 1965 Harari's first book Structural Models while beginning his work in graph theory around 1965, Harari began buying up property in Ann Arbor to supplement income for his family. Harry and his wife Jane had six children together, Miriam, Natalie, Judith, Thomas, Joel and Chaya. In 1969 the Michigan Daily published an article discussing issues that tenants of Harry's property were facing. Harry's motivation for purchasing these properties was in the interest of the land value, and as issues arose within the properties in terms of maintaining a safe living environment negative attention was turned towards Harry. It was Harry's intention to maintain ownership of the land and see the tenants out of their apartments while helping them find better housing. From 1973 to 2007 Harry jointly wrote five more books, each in the field of graph theory. In the time before his death, Harari traveled the world researching and publishing papers which appeared in mathematical journals and other scientific publications. Harry recoded that he lectured in 166 different cities around the United States and some 274 cities in over 80 different countries. Harry was particularly proud that he had given lectures in cities around the world beginning with every letter of the alphabet even including X. When he traveled to Zanten, Germany, Harry also played a curious role in the award-winning film Good Will Hunting. The film displayed formulas he had published on the enumeration of trees, which were supposed to be fiendishly difficult. It was in 1986 at the age of 65 that Harry retired from his professorship at the University of Michigan. Harry did not take his retirement lightly however. Following his retirement Harry was appointed as a distinguished professor of computer sciences at New Mexico State University in Las Cruces. 
He held this position until his death in 2005. The same year as his retirement Harari was made an Honorary Fellow of the National Academy of Sciences of India. He also served as an editor for about 20 different journals focusing primarily on graph theory and combinatorial theory. It was following his retirement that Harari was elected to be an Honorary Lifetime Member of the Calcutta Mathematical Society and of the South African Mathematical Society. At the time of his death in Las Cruces other members of the Department of Computer Science felt the loss for the great mind that once worked beside them. The head of the Department of Computer Science at the time of Harari's death Desh Ranjan had this to say, Dr. Harari was a true scholar with a genuine love for graph theory which was an endless source of new discoveries, beauty, curiosity surprises and joy for him till the very end of his life, mathematics. Harry's work in graph theory was diverse. Some topics of great interest to him were, graph enumeration, that is, counting graphs of a specified kind. He co-authored a book on the subject. The main difficulty is that two graphs that are isomorphic should not be counted twice, thus, one has to apply Polya's theory of counting under group action. Harari was an expert in this. Signed graphs. Harari invented this branch of graph theory, which grew out of a problem of theoretical social psychology investigated by the psychologist Orwin Cartwright and Harry. Applications of graph theory in numerous areas, especially to social science. He was co-author of John Wiley's first e-book, Graph Theory and Geography. Among over 700 scholarly articles Harari wrote, two were co-authored with Paul Erdos, giving Harry and Erdos number of one. He lectured extensively and kept alphabetical lists of the cities where he spoke. Harry's first publication Atomic Boolean-like Rings with Finite Radical went through much effort to be put into the Duke Mathematical Journal in 1950. This article was first submitted to the American Mathematical Society in November 1948, then sent to the Duke Mathematical Journal where it was revised three times before it was finally published two years after its initial submission. Harari began his teaching career at the University of Michigan in 1953 where he was first an assistant professor then associate professor in 1959 and finally was appointed as a professor of mathematics in 1964. Prior to beginning his teaching career he became a research assistant in the Institute of Social Research at the University of Michigan. Harry's most famous classic book Graph Theory was published in 1969 and offered a practical introduction to the field of graph theory. It is evident that Harry's focus in this book and amongst his other publications was towards the varied and diverse application of graph theory to other fields of mathematics, physics and many others. Taken from the preface of graph theory, Harry notes, there are applications of graph theory to some areas of physics, chemistry, communication science, computer technology, electrical and civil engineering, architecture, operational research, genetics, psychology, sociology, economics, anthropology, and linguistics. Harari quickly began promoting inquiry-based learning through his texts, apparent by his reference to the tradition of the Moore method. Harari made many unique contributions to graph theory as he explored more and more different fields of study and successfully attempted to relate them to graph theory. Harari's classic book Graph Theory begins by providing the reader with much of the requisite knowledge of basic graphs and then dives right into proving the diversity of content that is held within graph theory. Some of the other mathematical fields that Harari directly relates to graph theory in his book begin to appear are around chapter 13. These topics include linear algebra and abstract algebra, key theorem in graph theory. Much of Harari's work was done to further research in the field of graph theory and then almost immediately apply the tools provided by graph theory to other mathematical subjects. One such example of Harry's efforts to create this connected network between the mathematical subjects of graph theory and linear algebra was his 
work on the square of a tree. In order to outline the connection here Harry observed the adjacency matrix for many different types of connected graph and noticed a connection between the square root of an adjacency matrix and the graph of some tree. For example, given a complete graph where all entries of the adjacency matrix are 1, s. It is possible to find a unique tree with which you can square its adjacency matrix to obtain the adjacency matrix for the original complete graph. Here we will provide a basic breakdown of this theorem, and the method used by Harari to find the unique tree square root of some particular connected graphs. Observe the adjacency matrix A of a graph G where A equals where Aij equals 1 if points by and Bj are adjacent and Aij equals 0 otherwise, except that we take the diagonal of A to contain only 1 S. If a graph G is the square of a tree, then it has a unique tree square root and vocabulary necessary to understand this proof and the methods used here are provided in Harry's The Square of a Tree How to Determine if some graph G is the square of a tree. IFF a graph G is complete or satisfies the following five properties then G equals T2 every point of G is neighborly and G is connected. If two cliques meet at only one point B, then there is a third clique with which they share B and exactly one other point. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the cliques and the multi-clique all points B of G such that clique C corresponding to B contains exactly as many multi-clique all points as the number of cliques which include B. No two cliques intersect in more than two points. The number of pairs of cliques that meet in two points is one less than the number of cliques. Algorithm for finding the tree square root of a graph G. Step 1. Find all the cliques of G. Step 2. Let the cliques of G be C1, Cn, and consider a collection of multi clique all points B1, Bn corresponding to these cliques in accordance with condition i.e. The elements of this collection are the non-end points of T. Find all of the pairwise intersections of the n cliques and form the graph S by joining the points by and Bj by a line if and only if the corresponding cliques Ci and Cj intersect in two points. S is then a tree by condition V. Step 3. For each clique Ci of G, let Ni be the number of uniclicol points. To the tree S obtained in step 2, attach knee endpoints to by obtaining the tree T which we sought. Once we have the tree in question we can create an adjacency matrix for the tree T and check that it is indeed the correct tree which we sought. Squaring the adjacency matrix of T should yield an adjacency matrix for a graph which is isomorphic to the graph G which we started with. Probably the simplest way to observe this theorem in action is to observe the case which Harari mentions in the square of a tree, in which Harari observes this theorem in action with connected graphs. Specifically the example in question describes the tree corresponding the graph of K5, consider the tree consisting of one point joined with all the others. When the tree is squared, the result is the complete graph. We wish to illustrate T2 K5 upon squaring of the adjacency matrix of the previously mentioned tree, we can observe that this theorem does in fact hold true. We can also observe that this pattern of setting up a tree where one point joined with all the others will always indeed yield the correct tree for all complete graphs. Bibliography Harry Frank, Robert Z. Norman, and Darwin Cartwright, Structural Models an Introduction to the Theory of Directed Graphs, New York, Wiley, 1965, Harry Frank, Graph Theory, Addison Wesley, Reading, M.A., Harry Frank, and Edgar M. Palmer, Graphical Enumeration, Academic Press, New York, New York, Arlinghouse, Sandra Latch, William C., Arlinghouse, and Frank Harry, Graph Theory and Geography, an Interactive e-book. New York, John Wiley and Sons, Hage, Per and Harry Frank, Exchange in Oceania, A Graph Theoretic Analysis, Oxford University Press, Hage, Per and Harry Frank, Structural Models in Anthropology, Cambridge University Press.
Page, Spur and Harry Frank, Island Networks, Communication, Kintip, and Classification Structures in Oceania, Cambridge University Press, Harry Frank, New Directions in the Theory of Graphs, Proceedings of the 1971 Ann Arbor Conference on Graph Theory, University of Michigan, Academic Press, Buckley, Fred and Harry Frank, Distance in Graphs, Perseus Press, Wilf, Herbert S., and Harry Frank, Mathematical Aspects of Electrical Networks Analysis, Symposium in Applied Mathematics, American Mathematical Society. Harry Frank, Topics in Graph Theory, New York Academy of Sciences. Harry Frank, Graph Theory and Theoretical Physics, Academic Press.